All right, we are here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, about to check out this brand new Sunseeker 182 Ocean here. Uh, this is part of its uh, North American debut tour here, this stop at Fort Lauderdale. So we are one of the first uh, ones to get to check this thing out. Very similar to their uh, Ocean 90 with the main difference being the uh, enclosed flybridge up on top. So we'll take a moment to kind of check that out as we get into this. Uh, as we start here, massive swim platform on the back of this thing as we step onto it. A whole bunch of stuff going on here. Uh, this portion here is going to be high-low. Uh, we've got a really cool grill set up over here. Nice big, plenty of space to grill out a bunch of stuff, have a good time on the back of the boat. Really large reclining loungers, whatever you want to call them, hanging out there on the back as well. Um, we are going to kind of move kind of quick. We're up against the uh, opening of the show here in just a bit, so not as comprehensive as I could, but uh, nonetheless, we're going to keep it going and uh, cover what we can in the short time we get with you. Uh, so stepping up here into the aft cockpit area, nice little seating area, cool little glass railing set up there, and above us is probably my favorite part of this whole thing is just the ceiling. Just the uh, style they've got going on there with the little lights and bigger lights and the grays and the whites and offset this, that, and the other. Really big fan of that. Just gonna go ahead and sneak around here, see what a couple of the things are that we're dealing with. That's what I figured we'd find there. Just a uh, remote operator station at the aft of the boat. Just really helps when you're uh, maneuvering at low speeds and docks and stuff and you're docking aft too. Just avoids I mean, you still need to be on the radios, but you avoid having to have no line of contact, uh, direct line of sight rather, from the uh, helm, main helm back to there. So, now on this side, hiding, just gonna have a little uh, cutting board uh, wet bar setup going on there. And below this, I would imagine, yeah, there's just gonna be a uh, fridge freezer down there. So, we'll go ahead and, no, we're gonna go up along one of the sides. Right now, floor to ceiling glass the whole way. The side on this is extremely high, super comfortable, safe feeling, all that good stuff. The railing is literally chest high almost for me at six foot one. So we're stepping up here into the bow area. A lot going on, awesome space up here to hang out. You got seating all the way around. You got loungers in the middle there. And if you flip around this way, as we walk forward to the working space on the bow, we'll take a quick peek back at the boat. And there you can see that enclosed uh, flybridge there. So we'll get up into there in just a short bit. Item of note, they do have a nice little uh, refrigerator, drawer refrigerator there that pulls out, as well as one on the other side. And then there's just a quick peek back into that working space there. Like when they tuck the cleats away behind there, just makes for a really clean look from the outside of the boat. So we will step down this side deck, take a little walk down here, and then again, tucking the cleats away instead of having them out visible just makes the boat look really clean. So we're gonna hang a right here and go on down. I will note how expansive that whole glass door on the back is you can open that up virtually all the way across the rear there now if we come down here we'll just let ourselves sneak right on into the salon the saloon whichever you want to call it close that door behind us to keep their air in and this is absolutely gorgeous i i will never get sick of the styling that i see on these sunseeker boats if we take a look up here at the ceiling Got these recessed trays with the gloss uh, light gray with the various LED accents. Just looks really nice, high-end stuff. Can't go wrong with that. Keep on moving here through this living space. And I should note behind me as I walked in, large TV hanging out there. And we'll flip around. Really cool staircase going up to the flybridge level. A little twisty to it, so that's cool. We'll work our way up there in a few moments. We are gonna come forward into the uh, formal dining space here. You have seating for eight around that table, super nice. And of course, if you wanna enjoy it outside too, that is an option. Um, coming into here, we're gonna hang a left and take a look at the galley space. I really like how this feels. 
feels really homey with the dining area next to it and then the uh, kitchen area is going to be right there got you a full-size glass uh, electric stove top uh, you got dual uh, sort of you got a, a melee regular oven then you got a uh, convention microwave oven on top there your refrigerator freezer are gonna be hanging out on that side there really like the colors of this light gray with the uh, marble look finish on that and then just a few some of the dark colors and lights in the background that really just help set it off and they got this really cool in the ceiling these led accents built in i think it just looks fantastic uh, we are going to check out what is behind this door and I have an idea, and sure enough, it is in fact a day head. So you just get a little toilet vanity going on in there. Super nice to have that. Uh, guests don't have to go to the uh, stateroom level then to uh, use the restroom while they're aboard the ship. So we'll head forward and down into here real quick. All right. All right, so since this door is open in front of us, I think that's uh, the way we're gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to our right as we step into here, greeted by a little makeup or office space, whichever you choose to use it for there. And if we flip around, large TV, and then just a very nice straightforward bed. And I might add the carpet in here is super plush and comfortable as I'm walking on it. Big fan of that. Uh, point out real quick on the ceiling, more of that glossy light gray with those cool LED accents going through there. Got shades that could come down from the windows, of course. Flip around to the head here. Got that marble look finish to the whole thing. And if we turn to our left, that is where the shower is gonna be hiding. And of course, it is in fact a rainfall shower head. I do like the different uh, darker gray there they used for the tiling on the walls in the shower. I think that just helps offset it from everything else. They really knock it out of the park with the styling on these sun seekers. We are gonna keep heading this way. Uh, there would have been a closet hiding there behind that one mirror. I don't want to dirty it up with my hands since they just kind of went through this boat and prepped it for the show. So I'm not going to go around poking anything like that. We are going to come back here and there's yet another staircase. So we're going to take the down one this time. And when we come back up, we'll take the uh, curvy one up into the flybridge. So we'll come down in here and we're down to another level lower level area. So we got this little hallway to our right. We're going to have a stateroom in here. Uh, and that's just going to have like a queen size bed there. And again, it has this super comfy carpet that I'm walking on again. Uh, my point out behind us is of course, really large TV uh, inset on the wall there. And then again, it's going to carry that same styling on the ceiling throughout the rest of the boat that we've seen. So in our head here, the ensuite, very uh, standard homey looking bathroom setup, honestly. The standard toilet there, your sink vanity there, and then a nice rainfall shower hanging out down there at the end. Um, this whole thing just feels a lot like a home. Pretty cool. Pop that up. We get uh, some storage in the form of a hanging closet. And then if we flip around there, you get a nice mirror. And we'll head out and hang a right. Uh, might have saw it as we came down, but again, more of that really cool ceiling lighting going on. And uh, this is going to be another uh, guest stateroom. Currently set up as one double berth. You can split it, as you can see. Those would slide and you could have two single berths as opposed to one put together like that. This is almost a complete mirror of the other room we were just in. So same style there in the... Uh, uh, head for this one and again that's just going to be a closet behind that door there so we'll flip around this way come down here to the end and behind that just going to be storage and I'm curious more storage just for linens and all that kind of good stuff and now we're going to be walking into what I would call the owner suite the master cabin whichever you want to call it very expansive space um, Greeted by a sitting area right here on the right side when we walk in. Really large windows down both sides there, that side especially, and also down there. Um, just a makeup area, desk area, whichever you choose to use it for. You got this mirror there, but that's not just a mirror. The TV actually hides behind that massive mirror there, so that's really cool. Um, just a clever way they have of hiding things and uh, seamlessly bringing the area together. 
We'll flip around here, take a look at the bed area. I like the styling, really cool. Just ton, tons of different textures and grays and a little bit of brown, dark accents going on there. Just really works together. Uh, if we look over here, I'll uh, we'll take a peek in just a couple of these closet doors, just a closet there. And if we turn here, just some more storage and closet space there. So we will close that up and keep on moving around to the ensuite in this cabin. Greeted by a double vanity as we walk in with tons of counter space kind of all around. Uh, plenty of space just to spread out, get at home, be comfortable. Really large uh, shower there, as you'd expect in the owner's cabin. Rainfall shower head, of course. I really like that LED accent lighting around the top in there. That's, that's something I don't know if I've seen before, so that's cool. I'm a fan of that. Um, it actually goes all the way around the whole bathroom corners. So yeah, pretty much the whole perimeter. Very cool. Big fan of that. Uh, we're gonna keep this tour moving here um, so we can get in what we need to before the show opens. So we're gonna scoot on up this hall up these stairs back up to the main level and we're going to continue going on up and now we get to go up this really cool curvy staircase i'm this is what i was most excited about honestly uh, as we start getting up here you get some led accent lighting there just to kind of help the see where you're going i suppose so we're coming up into this flybridge level and this one is like i said it's an enclosed flybridge so that's the main version between this and the uh, 90 Ocean model. So this is gonna be your helm up here. Of course, captain's chair there. Kind of an automotive style looking sporty seat there with adjustment on the buttons on the side. Of course, your steering wheel there. Uh, even on a boat this size, not that wild of a helm, believe it or not. So obviously some really large Garmin glass displays hanging out up there. Um, these are just going to be, these MANs are going to be your engine management systems and information down there. Just various systems on board the ship there. And then stuff with the electrical and generator over on that one. But really not too much going on here. You got your twin throttles, you've got your thruster controls. And that's about all you got here. So keeping it simple, no doubt. I am curious. That's going to be a wireless charger there, as well as a traditional USB port and that's just going to be some storage hanging out there. Behind us here, going to have that guy, that drawer pulls out there, close that up. There's going to be some more storage, and then you're going to get a little sink area there, of course. So just a little space here that ties into the uh, lounge area up here on the flybridge. Nice TV. I really like the colors they've chosen here. Um, doesn't come across great on the camera. It's a little bit lighter than that gray, but uh, it's actually pretty close once it adjusted there. And the ceiling's actually really cool. Got this like slightly recessed tray up in there. Kind of hard to see, but there is LED accent lighting in there along that piano black trim that really offsets that. And then we got some cool styling here on the, uh, the windows along the side. So as we walk back here, we'll flip around before we step on out there. So there's just another look at the lounge up in the flybridge and the helm up there. So this whole back uh, would pretty almost completely open up across there if that's what you chose to do. We are just ever so slightly going to try to get out here. All right, we got that open. Apparently I don't know how to use a handle and I figured it out eventually. So we're gonna walk out onto this little, uh, I guess you could call it a porch, a balcony, a deck, whatever you want to call it. There's just going to be a wet bar sink hiding under there. And that means under here, of course, is just you're just going to have a grill on that side of it. And just below there is going to be storage, refrigerators, ice makers, all that good stuff underneath there. And they've currently got this set up here with these uh, two lounge chairs. And I will step out here and I will note just really wide and open across the back there. So it'd be really cool. You could tie the two spaces in together if you chose to do that. So we are gonna step right back inside here and keep this tour going. We're almost done. 
I think we can get on down to the crew quarters and the engine compartment. So we're going to attempt to go do that real quick. Uh, if not, we'll uh, call this tour good. But to do that, we're just going to head on down here. Uh, we'll go this way and step right back out onto the aft cockpit area. Close that behind us to keep their air conditioning in there. And we'll come around to the right here. And then behind this door here is gonna lead down to the uh, crew quarters and engine room. So let me close that behind me or mostly close it. Okay, can't see anything right now. My camera is not being happy, but it's coming down this little staircase. And this is gonna be the crew quarters. This is gonna be their kind of galley mess area here. Our washer and dryer on the boat are there. On this side, we're gonna have a uh, twin bunk there. On this side, we're also going to have another twin bunk there as well. Uh, they kind of get all sorts of fun stuff here, fridge and TV to hang out and watch, all that good stuff. That is going to be the head for the crew down here. Just a little shower. It is wet, dry, so that's nice that you got their own separate shower, the vanity, and of course the toilet is going to be right down there. If we head this way real quick, we will pop open this, and that will be access to the engine room. I'm not going to walk in there. It's extremely hot right now. Actually, we'll take a quick peek. So that's just going to be our engine room here. Got those MAN engines, that's gonna be one of them there. Got a generator, sounds like it's pumping away on this side, I don't know how well you can hear me. Uh, we'll just take a quick look down here. That would be access through a hatch there. Of course, we can't get through there with uh, the boat being here at the show and stuff being set up. And we'll just take a quick peek down there. We're gonna have another generator and the other MAN engine will be hanging out on the right side there. So, it's really hot in here and we got places to go and things to see. So we are going to get on out of this engine room and find ourselves a spot to wrap up this video on this new Sunseeker uh, Ocean 182. So close the engine room door behind me, walk up these stairs and we will pop right back out this little side door. I just thought it's cool how those things swing, have fancy little uh, hinge systems on them. Close that behind us there. I'm gonna walk right back up this side again. I should note real quick, there is a door there in the side that you could use to get in and out of the uh, uh, living space at the back of the boat. But I think we're gonna head right up to the front and finish this tour up right, uh, right in the bow, why not? So we'll take a seat here. All right, that was Sunseeker's new 182 Ocean here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Uh, the biggest difference between this and the Ocean 90 was the uh, enclosed flybridge up on top. Just kind of depends on where you are boating and uh, what you look to get out of a boat. We kind of determine if you want the open flybridge or the enclosed one like that. As always, the interior styling is absolutely on point with these Sunseekers. You'll never have any complaints from me there. All around really cool and iconic boats that the name carries. So if this is something you're interested in checking out, absolutely encourage you to come uh, to a show like this, check it out, or get a hold of our friends over at Sunseeker uh, at the description I'll have below in the link, and they'd be happy to tell you a lot more about this boat and answer any of the questions that you may have. That's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching.